Well, it's the biggest wildfire burning in the Payette National Forest so far this season, but the bright side, it hasn't grown since yesterday, holding it 250 acres right now. Forest Service says weather has been helping get crews right next to the fire to dig those fire lines with 11 crews on site and six helicopters assigned to put it out. And very near that fire is Bergdorf Hot Springs, a mountain vacation destination for more than a century with buildings that date back to the 1870s. Scott Harris, whose family has owned the resort since 1922, was up there within an hour of finding out about the fire. Well, they stayed open on Sunday, but by Monday, the fire had gotten too close within a mile and a half, he says. So they shut down and evacuated the 20 guests they had staying at their cabins. Harris says he stuck around to watch the firefighters at work, and he was amazed by it. Well, it was incredible. Uh, it was incredible. They would come in over a ridge uh, at two or three times the height of the trees and drop their load, and then they would uh, uh, turn over the meadow over Bergdorf at uh, probably 500 feet. Well, Harris also told me this afternoon he's seen fires burn close to the hot springs five times over the last 25 years, so summer is always a wait-and-see kind of season. We're in harm's way every fire season, and I, I suspect that there might come a time when the efforts to save it may not be successful, but it's it's hung on for over 150 years, so we'll, we'll keep our fingers crossed. He is definitely doing that. Harris says they're open right now on a limited basis, hour by hour, basically, which means call before you head up there to see if they can accommodate you. Forest Service says there are some smaller roads and trails closed at this time because of the fire, but Warren Wagon Road and Bergdorf Road are open. Also